All right, guys, we're uh, finally here at 683 Sage Hen. I'll uh, give you guys a tour of this house. It's a really nice neighborhood. It's surrounded by homes that are of equal appeal and similar value. It's got a three car and a nice vaulted entrance. Let's head inside and see if it looks as great as it does on MLS in real life. Um, this is a 360 video, so you could pause it at any point and pan around. If you're watching it on your phone, you could just pan around with your finger, or if it's on your desktop, you could use your mouse pointer to drag around up and down, left and right, so you could essentially feel as if you're here yourself. So as we enter through the front door, there's a nice light fixture right up above. Um, the flooring looks really nice. It looks like it's a wood grain uh, tile. Right to our left, there's an office with French door entrance. It's a pretty good size room. I'll just kind of walk around to give you a perspective of the size of this room. This house has really nice uh, plantation shutter blinds. And it looks like it's been upgraded throughout uh, with tall vaulted ceilings, two-tone paint, um, upgraded baseboards. It is an ant's home and it looks like they kind of went through the extensive list of upgrades. Right beside this office is uh, a half bath with upgraded countertops and it looks like an updated, upgraded uh, shower pan. And this flooring is consistent throughout the entire house. And there's the front bedroom that I guess is also used as an office. Has a really nice layout. And there's a closet. Looks like it's just a, just a regular size closet. This home has really nice eight foot um, doors throughout. And let's make it out to the main living area and see what that looks like. So as we enter this living area, there's a hallway that takes us out to the rest of the bedrooms and the garage. And this is what the main living space of this home looks like. There's a nice large countertop and these views are you, know, you get the view of the neighborhood, but this home sits up above the rest of the neighborhood, so at least you don't have any neighbors looking down into your lot. And in fact, you're looking down on the rest of the neighborhood. Looks like it has the Cafe Sirius uh, General Electric appliances with a double oven. Cafe um, Sirius dishwasher and a Cafe Sirius six burner stove cooktop. It's a little pantry. All the cabinetry and the uh, hardware looks really nice too. The drawers are soft clothes. Uh, and it has a monogram refrigerator. There's also a really nice touch. Looks like it's been shown a couple times today. There are a couple other realtors that left their mark. And there is a, a nice sliding door that uh, takes you out onto the rear patio, but we'll check that out in just a moment. Let me show you the rest of the inside before we head outside. This is the door that takes us out to the garage. And it looks like there's a little coat closet, utility closet. And there is another closet right here. Oh, lots of storage space. Let's check out the garage. That way we're just kind of going in order. Looks like the flooring is sealed in the garage. There is a large water heater and a central reverse osmosis and a water softener system. 
It's a spacious three car. And this is our laundry room. Laundry room has a nice spacious countertop with a sink. Cabinets go almost all the way up to the ceiling. This is our third bedroom. Third bedroom is actually also uh, a master suite because it has a, a full bath attached to it. Let's take a look. There's some nice cabinetry throughout this entire house. It's got a nice walk-in shower. And you don't really get any views out of this bedroom, it just gives you a view of the backyard. And there's a, a good sized closet. Let's proceed into the master. Looks like it has a Honeywell programmable thermostat. It looks like it's a smart thermostat. The master bedroom is a pretty good size. You get the views of the neighborhood from the master bedroom. I'll just kind of walk around so you get the perspective on the size of this room. Let's check out the master bath. Master bath has a his and hers sink. The countertop is not really big. Um, there's a nice garden tub. It's not jetted. There's a frosted window and a good sized walk-in shower. Just a single head. Interesting choice of light fixtures in this room. There's a separate toilet room and the master closet is a really good size too. Looks like it could be a, a hers and hers closet. <laughs> As a husband, I usually get uh, a small closet down the hallway somewhere. So this concludes the interior of this house. Let's go check out the backyard. The sliding door that takes us through the living room will Get us out to the exterior of this home. Oh wow. Has a nice large patio um, with a fan and a heat lamp right up above it, which comes in handy during brisk mornings and uh, you know, especially as the fall uh, sets in southern Utah mornings can be quite chilly. The nice privacy fence that's about six feet on this side and it drops down to about it's probably about three feet right here on the side so that you can see over the fence because you have, you have a little bit of a view uh, you can see out towards the interstate i-15 uh, pine valley mountain or pine yeah pine pine valley mountain and uh, the rest of washington that just kind of spreads over there so the location of this lot is uh, really nice because it's up above the rest of the neighborhood, as I mentioned earlier. It has some really nice uh, landscape design elements with some bushes and some lava rock. And the side of the house has some extra room. It's not quite large enough to fit in a trailer or anything like that. It's just some extra, extra space. But yeah, I'm sure that uh, your bully will appreciate this backyard. This concludes our tour. Let me know if you have any questions. Drop them in the comments below or just text me. Thanks.